Welcome back to Maggie and Perloff. And this is a special treat for a variety of reasons. Number one, Perloff, did you know that the pound for pound greatest fighter in boxing is going to be decided on July 29th in Las Vegas Showtime pay-per-view Terrence Bud Crawford against Errol Spence. This is the fight we've been waiting for. And Terrence Crawford is joining us on the day when we are ranking our top boxing movies of all time. And he was also in the movie Creed 3. So this is working on several levels. Let's welcome in Terrence Crawford right now. But it's so good to talk with you. How are you feeling before this fight that we as a public have been waiting years to see? Oh, I feel great. I'm very exciting. Excited. I'm very excited. And uh, I can't wait for July 29th to get come here. So, Terrence, when you have a fight of this magnitude, do you let yourself think about legacy and what a victory would mean for your place in boxing history? Well, I think about all those type of things. But for the most part, I'm just mainly focused on getting the job done and making sure uh, everything goes according to plan July 29th. So walk us through what each day is like for you now that we're a little over a month away from the bout. Well, each day is different. Uh, you got some days we run, some days we do strength and conditioning, some days we swim. Uh, so, yeah, for the most part, each day is different. So does it change as you get closer to the fight in July? Yes, definitely. Uh, we alter a little uh, tweaks here and there just depending on how my body feels. Terrence Crawford is 39 and 0 fighting in a welterweight division that is historically maybe one of the greatest divisions in the history of the sport. So have you thought, I know this is a little bit far, farther down the line, but Mayweather is sitting out there with that 50 and 0 record. Yeah. I mean, you're at 39 and 0 and you're 35 years old. Have you thought about 50 and 0? Has that ever crossed your mind? No, nah, I ain't never thought of 50 you know, that's that's Mayweather thing. That's his record. You know, I commend him and, you know, uh, he can have that. You don't want 11 more fights? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this isn't going to be your last fight, though, will it? No, uh, we, don't, we don't plan on it, Ben. Hmm. OK, OK. Uh, as far as the relationship between you and Errol Spence. Now, for Spence, this has been... A rough couple of years, multiple car accidents, had a retina injury that can be very serious for any sport, but particularly in boxing. As those things were unfolding, were you wondering, hey, are we ever going to get to fight? Were you concerned about him and his future? Can you walk us through your feelings on your opponent? Well, I always, you know, rooted for Errol Spence. I always uh, stated that I was a fan. This is just business. and. When he got into that first car accident, I wished him uh, well, prayed that he'd be okay, uh, and he'd come back healthy. And, yeah, he got a family he, he got to take care of, and I wouldn't want to wish nothing bad on uh, a fighter that's fighting for the same thing that I'm fighting for, and that's to take care of his family. So, yeah, uh, when, he, when he got into those accidents and – was hospitalized with the retina. I, I wished him none but uh, a speedy uh, recovery and wished him, you know, to come back strong as ever. You're a, a favorite in this fight. What type of fight do you have to have to beat Spence? I just got to fight my fight, Ben Terrence Crawford. And I think that's enough to beat anybody in the world. All right, Terrence. Uh, as you know, we're doing our top five boxing movies of all time. And you, of course, were in Creed 3. Let's just get it off. We'll, let's start. What is your favorite boxing movie of all time? Uh, my favorite boxing movie of all time have to be Rocky versus Mr. T. Oh, Rocky 3. I'm high on that one, too. Maggie likes Rocky 4. I love Rocky 4, too. It's like a, it's like a, a seesaw effect. One day I'll be like... Rocky four. Then one day I'll be like Rocky uh, three. And, you know, uh, those are the two ties that I would say for the number one. Terrence Bud Crawford is joining us. Of course, a massive fight, mega fight. The winner of this fight 
will be known as the pound for pound best fighter in the world. That's happening on July. Was it? Did I say the 29th, 27th, 29th? I was right the first time. July 29th. It is Showtime pay-per-view and it's going to be an absolute must watch. So we're talking about boxing movies, of course, the Rocky franchise. And now you're sort of a part of it being in Creed 3, which was really fun to watch you. Is there a boxing movie that you can tell us is really close to real life? Like what it's actually like to be a boxer? I think I think both of those uh, movies was was as close as you can be. I think Creed showed a different side of boxing that uh, a lot of people don't normally get to see. I think Rocky, he showed a lot of insight on training and what fighters go through in life to become champion if given the opportunity when all the odds is stacked against you. So I think both of those uh, movies is, is, is great movies. I'd say there's going to be a movie on the life of Terrence Crawford. Have you thought about who do you want to play you in this movie? I don't know. That would be hard. Probably like one of my sons or something. <laughs> yeah, but you can't do Michael B. Jordan because yeah. you've already been in the movie with him. Yeah. So what are your sons? I mean, do you think are your sons uh, up to that job, do you think, someday? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure they would be. I think they'll be arguing who who <laughs> gets to play dad. <laughs> I think that'd be the main thing. They all want to play me and that'd be a big argument. Yeah. Behind the scenes, you were training with Michael B. Jordan, kind of showing him how to look even more realistic as he played Adonis Creed. What do you think is the biggest thing you taught Michael B. Jordan about what it's like to, to be a boxer and portray one on the big screen? Oh, no, we were just going through the motions and going through like, combinations and um, stands and what what punch come out there another punch and things like that uh michael b jordan is very talented mm -hmm. he's very skillful and he knows exactly what he's doing in the ring and he knows how he want to do it so just being able to see him in his work form and in action and uh, navigating things is 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 great. I, I was surprised just to see all the details that goes into rehearsal and you know actually on the on the on the set. So I was just like, man, this dude is is great. This dude is you know on a whole another level. So I commend him and I always pre, pre appreciate him for giving me the opportunity to actually be in the movie. Terrence Bud Crawford is our guest. He's fighting Errol Spence. This is going to be the mega fight of the year. And maybe more than that, this is an incredible welterweight battle. It's going down Showtime pay-per-view. It's happening July 29th, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. And we can't wait for it. You know, Bud, there's been so many, you know, uh, YouTube stars turned boxers. There's been professional athletes uh, in other sports who have tried now to box has anyone tried to like call you out to say hey i want to fight you i mean you're like top of your you know of your sport you are really the creme de la creme but has anyone called you out like would you want to take one of these sillier fights just for a big payday i haven't had anybody call me out uh yet so um i don't know how i would react to to anything like that but for the most part no i haven't had anybody call me out <laughs> do you think there's a a non-professional boxer in the world who could last around with you no. ever <laughs> probably you know it's it's a lot of tough guys out there in the world i wouldn't underestimate them how long, all right so i'm about six two one ninety five six pretty one ninety five <laughs> i got reach but i don't have a lot of strength what do you give me 30 seconds <laughs> I don't know. You might run for 30 seconds. I might run <laughs> yeah, you know my strategy already. Yeah. So. Ring to the exits is where he would be running to. There's um, a lot of things that, go in, that goes into boxing to yeah. actually, you know, get the job done. I'm sure you're asked this a lot, but I'd love to know your answer to it. Besides yourself, we won't give you yourself. But in terms of all-time welterweight division, who do you think is the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in that division? 
at the West Wage event? Yeah. Currently or all time. Ooh. Had to be Mayweather. Just because of the record or because of his fighting style, because of what he did? Everything. Not just because of record, fighting style, everything that's around money Mayweather. Have to be what, Mayweather. what about the old school guys? Uh, do you ever watch like Sugar Ray and uh, Wilfredo Benitez and the guys uh, that yeah. I came up with in the 80s? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, they was great fighters. But when you talk about all time, because they moved up to 54 and 60 and stuff like that. When you talk about all time, welterweight, nobody prepared to Mayweather at all. Bud, can't tell you how much we appreciate this. Best of luck in your fight against Errol Spence. We'll be watching on Showtime pay-per-view along with the rest of the sports world. It goes down July 29, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. And also, thank you for lending your expertise to our boxing movie debate today. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it.